In the last episode, I showed you how to connect a radio button in Google Web App. In this episode, I will show you how to display image in Google Web App. At first, I will show you how to display image from Google Drive. Then I will show you how to display image from any website. Before that, please subscribe my channel and stay with me. Let's start the main part of our programming. For better understanding, I request you to visit all of my previous tutorials. In the index.html page, at first I create a div under the radio buttons. Now I visit the Materialize CSS website and go to the media page. Just copy this language markup and paste into the div. For the convenience of our work, I have already saved a picture in the Google Drive. In this case, look very carefully. We will first open the preview of the image by double click. From this image preview, I will reopen the image in a new tab through the open in new window. We will now copy the HTTP link of the image and paste it into the source link on the index.html page in our google app script look very carefully the source link need to be modified slightly now we have to initialize this class for the image that's why we will copy the initialized language from the media base of the materialized CSS website and paste it in this part of our JavaScript base. Now change the variable name like picture. Then save it and do the new deployment. See our picture is being displayed on our web app. This way we can easily display an image on Google Web App from Google Drive. Now we will see how to add image from any website to Google Web App. For this with the help of Microsoft Edge we will find out some pictures of foods. We will take a suitable image and then right click on the image and copy the image link. Then directly go to our index.html page and paste the link on the source link of our previous image. Again we will save it and do the new deployment. See our previous image being changed and the image of the browser is being displayed. 
By these two ways, we can display any image on our Google Web app. In the next episode, I will show you how to connect your Google Map location on your Google Web app. Until then, stay well and stay healthy. And please, keep subscribing my channel to get all upcoming interesting tutorials.